Hi, and welcome. I'm Melissa with Build a Better Bakery, and I'm here today to deliver your hashtag Thursday Fave session, and you are seeing me on the replay. If you are on the replay with me, I would love for you to throw a hashtag replay up so that I know you've seen the content and I can see who's here and who's interacting. Now, before we get started today, I want to mention that our topic is going to be a three-step process to a Facebook business page glow up. All right, I'm just going to give you three things that you can look at about every month or so to help your Facebook business page stay on point. Now, before we get started today, I want to make sure that I am letting you know how to get information about these live sessions here in the Bakery Business School Facebook group. You're always welcome to join our free email list. That is where you get reminders about things like this. You'll get replay links. It's really easy to stay in touch and know what we have going on when you're on the email list. Plus, you get some extra promos, too. You can always send me a friend request on Facebook. I will accept and you will get invitations through the group as I make events. You can also change your highlights in the group to all videos instead of just highlights or um, not the highlights, your notifications in the group to switch it from highlights to all and you'll be able to see these when they come on live. All right, now before we get started, also I want to mention this week's Friday, hashtag Friday giveaway winner is Sherry Slavic. So exciting for her. I'm gonna message her about her prize that she's won. And make sure to hop in every Friday in our group to enter in on the post. It usually goes up in the morning and it's also up all week for you to enter. And then I announce the winner at the following session, like today, the following Thursday Fave session. So you always have a chance to win something with us and get a little something extra special in the mail. Okay, now let's go ahead and jump into our topic. If you're here with me live, go ahead and do your hashtag live. So I know you're here. Let me know how you're doing today. All right, we're gonna talk about a three-step process to a Facebook business page glow up. What do I mean by this? I mean literally just going in, spick and span your Facebook page, check on a couple things to make sure it's looking good. Um, the, things, the three things we're gonna talk about today are basically just tidying up certain portions of your business page to make it easier for your clients to get the information that they need, right? It needs to be relevant information. They're gonna need that when they land on your business page. And I want you to exude, um, get, give them the confidence that they need to work with you. So when they show up on the business page, right, they're gonna be able to, without even speaking to you, know if things are up to date and know if you're paying attention to what's going on. Your social media presence is crucial to the lifeblood of your business, right? That's, if you're not on social media, if you're not on the internet with your business, you're definitely missing out on sales. So in this day and age, we wanna make sure that we are staying on top of that. We wanna keep it maintained. You can probably complete this three-step routine in less than 20 minutes, and I would say this would be about every month or so, you wanna go check on this. Three important aspects of your social media business page are one, clarity, two, information information distribution, and three, relevance, okay? And th these are broad topics, but I'm gonna hit on three things that you can do. The first thing about clarity is one of the first things people look at on your business page are going to be your photos, right? Photos of things that are going on. So spend a few minutes going through the photos attached to your page, which may be ones that you have posted or it may be ones that other people have posted. So you're gonna have to look at these and delete the photos that don't match your vibe. So maybe they're out of focus, they're dark, it's photos of, you know, not photos of your products, it's photos of people that you don't want attached to your business, whatever it is, right? Because when people start tagging your business, they can tag any photo, and it might be an accident, or they might have tagged something that you just don't want up on your business page. So you might have to go through there, delete certain photos, or untag yourself from photos that you don't want people to see right away when they come to your page. So remember, in focus, Bright and relevant imagery are what people want to see, especially if someone doesn't know anything about you. They land on your page, they want to be able to see this right away. Make sure to check um, your photo albums, including the ones where people tag you and your regular albums, or your photo albums and the, um, the self-generated ones from Facebook. Okay, number two, we're gonna talk about information distribution. This is also important and something that is on you as a business owner to take care of for your clients. So go ahead and take a look at your welcome mat, which is what we call the pinned post on your Facebook business page setup, right? That post that's got all of your information. So go ahead and check to make sure it's updated and refined or renewed because things change in business and we want to, you know, 
link different things or post different photos. So just look at it and make sure that you don't need to renew anything on there or change anything. If you don't already have a welcome map post, this is something we've gone over a couple times in various challenges inside of the Bakery Business School group. Basically, it is a pinned post on your business page that holds important information that you want your clients to see right away. So you don't want them to have to search for it. You don't want, the you don't want them to have to go to into their email. You just want them to have the information right away, especially for people who don't know who you are. If your business page is public, which it should be, when they come to see it, you're not gonna have another chance to give them the information. So you want that to be right there. Some examples that could be in there would be something like your mission statement, calling out who this page is for, who you wanna work with, maybe extra contact information or relevant links that you want to have right there for them. So just go ahead and make sure that the pin post is all up to date. And then number three is relevance. So when you look at a business, you wanna make sure that they're current and relevant, right? Like you wanna make sure they're in business, they're actually working, uh, what's, what are they doing right now, what's going on with them. And in the social media world, this means that you should probably be posting on your Facebook business page at least every three to five days at an absolute minimum. Some businesses post multiple times a day. It really depends on your audience, who's there, what do they want, what's going on. And, and your vibe, you know, how, how present are you online? But remember that if you haven't posted in a while, you can always start up right now. It doesn't matter how long it's been since you've posted. But remember, if it's been a long time when people land on the page, they're gonna wonder if you're even working. They're gonna wonder if they're gonna be bothering you. Are you in business still? Um, are they, do they even live here anymore? You know, what's going on with the business because you haven't posted at all. So make sure you're posting, even if they're short and sweet, make sure you're showing up there so that they know you're in business and working. And even if you don't get a ton of interaction on your business page, which is happening to a lot of us because of the way that the Facebook algorithm works right now, just keep posting. Um, we, of course, we want the post to be interactive so that it can be seen by more people on the platform. But at this point, we just this is the relevancy, right? We need you to be posting up there to make sure people understand what's going on and they know that you're working and currently offering products. So just keep on putting them up there and try to make them as interactive as possible so that more people comment or post or link or share or do something with the post to get more eyeballs on it. Okay, that's it. So just those three things today. This is kind of your glow up, your 20 minute monthly clean up tidy session. We talked about clarity, which is just making sure your photos are what you want people to be seeing when they click on your photo albums, your information distribution with your welcome mat or your pinned post, just make sure that's relevant and up to date. And then all of the posting on your page, make sure that you are posting every three to five days at the absolute minimum. Some people post multiple times a day, depending on what their audience needs. So those are some options of how you can start posting with your page. Hoping you're all having a lovely summer so far. I just got back from a week long vacation. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. And you know, I know a lot of us are really busy over this time of the year and there's a lot of different things happening. Some people are really busy with wedding season, some people aren't. So because of that, make sure you're popping into the group and asking your questions if you have any. We wanna make sure to be here for you when you need us. We're always here to support you in our elite mentorship program, our online courses, our one-on-one -on -one coaching, and all of those fabulous downloadable paperwork bundles that are ready for bakers, made by bakers for bakers. Those are all there for you at any time to pop in and grab. You will be seeing the new elite program schedule for July dropping soon. So keep an eye out for that if you've been thinking about getting into the juiciest live content for baking business that we offer. We would always love to help you inside of there and make sure you're getting the support you need to grow and build your business and make biz business building as simple as possible. Okay, that's it for me today and I'll see you all later inside of the group. Remember to send me a message if you have any questions or come out here on the video and I'll come back and answer your questions. Okay, bye.